Hermione, boop, boop. I love you, boop. Oh yes, Ronald. How very grown up of you. Tell me again how I broke up with Lavender. Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm bloody thrilled we did. It's just she seems a bit put out. Don't you remember anything from that night? Oh, honestly, Ron. It's not my fault. I was poisoned. It must be a side effect. Well, you're not the only one out of hospital. Katie Bell is back. I saw her in the Great Hall. Now we can find out who gave her that necklace. She can tell us who cursed her. Great. I'm pretty sure I can find my way to the Great Hall from... <coughs> the Grand Staircase. So, like... Voldemort is just bald all the time, right? Like, he doesn't need to shave his head or anything, since that's how he emerged from the cauldron at the end of the fourth book with that resurrection spell. I guess that's because he's rather snake-like and snakes have no hair on them. That means the motherfucker probably doesn't even have pubes. I had inadvertently discovered something where uh, I could look around freely to an Dance? How do I do that? Dang it, I forgot already. Ah. Uh, hold down the right trigger and move the right analog stick. Cool. Oh, and I can do that while I, uh... I'm walking, too. Uh. Okay, I can't look behind me while walking, but still, this is... Okay, I gotta remember that. Right trigger, right analog stick. Very good. I wish the game had told me that earlier instead of making me have to discover it by accident. Hey, those are Gryffindor banners. What do we deserve to... Uh, ugh. Terrible weak burp. Hi. How are you, Katie? Give me a moment. I know you're going to ask, but I don't know who cursed me. I've tried to remember, but I just can't. Hmm. Okay, I could do a couple things. I could talk to Katie some more, or sprint towards Malfoy. Alright, what happens if I... Talk to you. Nothing. All right. Well, I'm gonna. Confess what you did, Malfoy. Tell me what you're planning. All right. I'm actually gaining on him. Hey, Levy Corpus. Shit. I don't think the game will let me do that until we've entered some kind of dueling mode. Damn it. Okay. I must slow down before turning. Or at least before making sharp turns. Otherwise, I'm not gonna fucking... I'm already holding left trigger. Why would you tell me that while I'm holding it down already? Now, don't close, you fucking... Oh, god damn it. Alright. Okay, I'm pretty sure he went up here. You can't keep hiding, Malfoy! The fuck off. How are you, Casey? No, don't play this again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Enough with the cutscenes replaying themselves every time I need to try again. Come on, just... Okay, I can sprint here. That gives me a, a bit of a... Well, not head start, but, you know. Alright, I just got a fucking... That, damn it, that still didn't help me. Looks like the uh, edges of the screen turn red the further it gets away from me, I guess. Hmm. Or if I lose sight of him, I guess. I don't know, whatever. Now, please don't close on me. Draco's a fast motherfucker. Unlike when playing Quidditch and he loses every single game to me. 
even back when it was his Nimbus 2001 versus the older model Nimbus 2000. Fucking loser. I don't know how much he even cares about playing Quidditch anymore during a sixth year. Honestly, he probably just gave up. Oh, good. I, I made it here. Good. Just leave me alone, Potter. Um. <laughs> Dumbass is trying to cast at me through that hole. Uh, damn it. Did I hit him? No, apparently not. Come on, let me court let me just hit this guy in the dick, honestly. Oh fuck off. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. You're wasting so much time. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, fuck off. Quit falling over. Just piece of shit. Okay, good. Now I can finally do some damage. This is my favorite thing, just being able to repeatedly hit them in the dick like this. Ah, damn it, you carry. Fuck. Alright. Ah, god damn it. Quit falling off. You're gonna bl blow this whole thing, Harry. How did he miss that? Left stick quickly. Oh, shit. Wait, he knocked me out of the levee. No, he just beat me. Fuck. Okay, well, as long as I don't have to chase him again, I'm okay with this. Yeah, yeah, come on. Good. Okay, good. I can just... Leave me alone, Potter. For fuck's sake. Alright, good. Alright. I just gotta do this, like, one more time. And, oh, he had, he, oh, it's, it's, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> it's the dirtiest way of fighting I can imagine. Don't touch me, don't you dare touch me. We need to get you to the hospital wing. And you, Potter, where did you learn that spell? I... It was in a library book. Liar! You are to gather all your school books, all of them, and bring them to me here immediately. Oh great, more running around. You gave Ron's book to Snape instead. And you used a spell you didn't recognize on Draco. I didn't mean to. He was trying to curse me and I... I just... You have to get rid of the book. And I know just where you can hide it. Oh good, it was... never mind, I don't have to run around, it's just... Cutscenes. This is where you come. Close your eyes. There. <laughs> now no one will find it. Harry. I've got a secret too. So did you and Ginny do it? What? Hide the book. No, they just yeah, kiss they oh. in the room of requirement. Even I don't know where it is. Well, I think it's a good thing. I mean, using an untested spell on someone. I know. At least you can concentrate on your proper mission for Dumbledore. You haven't had much luck so far, have you? No. But maybe luck is what it will take. When Ron just asks, did you do it with Jenny, that... It's time I got... Sounds me. so much more... Fucking... Like... Well, how do you <laughs> this game and the music? Great. In fact, I love it. I think I'll take a walk to the Herbology greenhouses. You need to find Slowcorn, Harry. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Or at least Felix does. Oh, I love this game and the choice of music sometimes. I'm not walking either. It's just doing this right now. I'm literally not doing anything. This is a weird cutscene. I'm just gonna sit back and listen to the music.
think you're so clever attacking Draco like that? He was going to use Cruciatus on me. Now we're going to use Stupefy on you. You really don't want to fight me tonight. Stupefy! Yep, all right. Are all their attacks gonna miss me? I feel like the one that whoever the fuck this is just uh, it should have hit me otherwise. But yeah, I guess the game is just gonna make me invincible for the purposes of this fight. All right, how about you? Come on. He's done something. I can't hit him. Oh, get him! Yeah, good. This is, uh, this is fun. <laughs> I really love hitting him in the, in the balls like this. This is just so great. You'd think they'd get a heart attack from being hit with Stupefy so many times like this. You won't be so lucky next time, Pa! I don't need luck to beat you! Oh, I wanted to get the crest. God, that was behind me. Shit. Okay, I'm starting to get, like, does your wand have to swing around like that in front of you while you walk? I mean, come on. Okay, I see pot, so we must be here at the Herbology. Yep, good. This is a long-ass cutscene, other than it being interrupted by the fight with Crab and Goyle. It's venomous tentacular. Merlin's beard. Its leaves are quite valuable, aren't they? Yes, I'm not interested in selling them, of course. My interest is purely academic. Why is his mouth not moving? Many galleons. Have you tried using a dragon? Harry's mouth at least moved still. You think that would work? Ah, oh, yes. I have a feeling it will. They forgot to animate his mouth. Sloth brain. All right. Uh, I was so distracted by uh. His mouth not moving, that I wasn't really paying attention to the dialogue. Why am I making this now? Okay, it says fertilizer. So I guess it's something to do with the venomous tentacula he was looking at. I don't know. This takes forever. Although I'd like to think, given that I'm operating under the Felix, the lucky potion, that... I won't mess this up, or the game won't let me mess this up. Okay, well, we'll see what happens when I shake this. Okay, well, fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna hope I don't screw this up. Oh, I gotta go from green to yellow. I'm gonna have to go through blue and purple and red and orange first. Shit. Oh, wow. What the fuck? What is... is this... It's shit! Or fertilizer, I guess. More... yeah, we'll, we'll just say it's fertilizer, but... What the fuck? Ugh. Why do I need fertilizer to make more fertilizer, though? That... Maybe I just shouldn't... Uh... That's a trick. As soon as it starts uh, bubbling, I just start pouring it immediately, regardless of whether it's over the cauldron or not. Because it's not like I'm gonna run out of these ingredients. 
you know? I mean, you can just pour it indefinitely, so... I don't... I don't think it really cares if I... Sp uh, shit. Oh, no, I did pick it up. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, well, that's a bizarre thing. A little more? Okay. I gotta pick up more shit again. Oh, fuck. I, I dropped the shit off the side of the cauldron. It probably hit the flames underneath the cauldron. It's gotta smell bad now. I'm hearing mandrake cries in the distance, so they're clearly not acoustically insulated like they should be. Okay, it sounds like they finally shut the fuck up. Shall we try it, sir? Spectacular! A dab hand at her <laughs> Why is his mouth not moving? What happened? About at night, Harry. Actually, sir, I'm just about to go for a walk down to Hagrid's. Uh, I'm sorry, but I can't allow you to go up walking the castle grounds alone. Well, by all means, come with me, sir. Is his mouth gonna move? Is Hagrid's mouth gonna move? Harry. Yes. I knew you'd come to Morden, old Aragog. My oldest friend, he was. Aragog? A giant spider. An acromantula that lived in the forest. Hagrid counted him as a friend, even though it tried to eat me. <laughs> he was just being friendly. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Although, maybe that's not... Although he's crying, maybe I shouldn't have said that. His mouth still isn't moving, though. What the fuck? This is so weird. Oh, Aragog. I'll miss you, old friend. Did I encounter a glitch, or did they really just completely forget to animate his mouth during this part of the game? That just really surprises me if they did forget. I mean, well, there's a crest on the roof of his building, too. His, the hut. Jesus. Do you know why I survived? The night Voldemort killed my parents. Oh, don't, my boy. Your mother. Oh, she was We're still standing outside here. She sacrificed herself for me. That's all right, I guess. I don't know. Professor, I'm going to tell you something. It's true. I am the chosen. Only I can kill Voldemort. But I need your memory to do it. I need that memory so my mother's sacrifice wasn't for nothing. Here. Don't think too badly of me. You don't know what he was like. Even then. I think Dumbledore will want to see you. Now you have my memory. Sure. Um. Did I. Oh, Aragog still isn't buried. That's sad. Incendio! Yes. Oh, okay. Just launch the thing in the opposite direction. That's nice. Why? We still haven't buried Aragog. Oh, man. Lumos! Okay, I can't walk that direction. Oh, there's another crest. Well, how can I resist, huh? Okay, I know Dumbledore's office is, um... Like... It's... It's, it's, it's fucking... It's another crest. It's off to the side of one of the entrances to the castle, but I don't remember which entrance. If it was this one or the one on the other side of the castle. At least I can sprint running uphill. I don't know why I can't run upstairs. I have to walk upstairs all the time, but... Glad I can at least sprint uphill. Good. I still don't know what rewards I'm unlocking by, uh... Collecting all these crests, anyways. Oh, for fuck's sake. You recover quickly, I guess. Okay, now I'm not. I must have run out of lucky potion. Fine, but jeez. Just. I'm, I'm so tired of this, honestly. God damn it. Just fuck off. 
God damn it, now he's is all. Come on. Okay, finally got him. I can take away maybe half of his health bar while he's up here like this. Alright. Oh, that's good. I, I immediately got him again before he could do anything. So once I get him the first time, assuming I can react quickly enough to do it another time... Shit. Alright, well, I, 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 come on. Alright, dang, this is ridiculous, though. Come on. Malfoy will join his loser father in Azkaban before he ever beats me. Well, I'm glad so, I don't I have to fight it. two of them just once. This is spectacular news. I knew you could do it. Harry, quickly. Look sharp there, Tom. Now, at last, we shall see. Horcruxes. That's very dark stuff indeed, Tom. To make one, you would have to split your soul. And to do that, well, murder. Killing rips the soul apart. But to think of doing that once is a violation against nature, but seven times. So, Horace told Tom Riddle about Horcruxes. You see, a Horcrux is an object in which a person has concealed part of their soul. And while the Horcrux exists, that person cannot die. Do you think that's what Voldemort has done? He succeeded in making a Horcrux. Oh, he succeeded. And not just once. He made seven. He tore his soul into seven pieces. One resides within him, the other six. Well, you uncounted one Horcrux here in your second year. Tom Riddle's diary. I have accounted for another in the form of this ring. That's how you hurt your hand. And that's where you've been going, to search for the Horcruxes. Yes, Harry. And I think... Perhaps I have found the third. When the time comes, I shall need your help to destroy it. 